Hello everyone, my name is Juliana. Welcome back to my channel, Juliana Jules TV. I want to preface this video by saying that everyone that I'm about to talk about, this is public information. Everything is alleged because I'm not trying to be sued. I'm trying to be great for 2023. I want to become a homeowner and I am working towards that. I have nothing to be sued for. So everything is alleged and it's taken from public information. Some of the biggest news sources out there, the Toronto Sun, the Toronto Star, you know, public information. Okay. So everything is alleged, but today my friend and I were talking, you know, on our way to work, a teacher at her son's school has just been, or I think a coach, well, still a teacher. He was a basketball coach and he was just arrested for sexually assaulting a young girl at the school. So that gave me an idea. Well, I was telling her, I'm like, I have a lot of those stories stored up because every time I run across something that I think is interested and I want to talk about, I will save them in a folder somewhere. And to be honest, sometimes I forget about them. Sometimes I forget which folder I saved them in kind of thing. But she's like, talk about it. Talk about it. So I'm like, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about it. So depending on how this video do, because there's a lot of these stories out there, maybe I'll do follow up videos, but starting off with 59 year old John Weaver, he's an Oakville, Ontario resident, and he was arrested just last month in November of 2022 for allegations of three counts of sexual assault and three counts of sexual interference. He teaches at an unnamed school in Brampton. So I believe it's a high school in Brampton, but the name has not been released. I don't know why. But police believe that there might be more victims who have not yet come forward or ashamed to, and the incidents are reported to have happened in October and November of 2022. Police would only disclose that they received information about the alleged assaults, but not by whom, whether it be the victim's family or, you know, Maybe one of the victims told a friend and that friend told their parents and, but whatever. The information was brought to police. They did their investi investigation and 59 year old John Weaver was arrested and charged. So he's currently before the courts. Nothing has been proven yet and we will see what happens. I will keep an eye on. And to tell the truth, these cases, a lot of them, they go under the radar they plead guilty to lesser charges or the charges are dropped altogether because the victims may not come forward to testify. They stop cooperating. So we may or may not ever get an update. But that is the first one. Investigators from Appeal Regional Police Special Victims Unit have charged a 59-year-old man from Oakville, Ontario, concerning a sexual assault investigation. In November 2022, investigators received information that between October 2022 and November 2022, a teacher at a middle school in the region of Peel allegedly sexually assaulted three female victims. On December 5, John Weaver, a 59-year-old man from Oakville, was arrested and charged with the following offenses. Sexual assault times three and sexual interference times three. He attended the Ontario Court of Justice in Brampton for a bail hearing. John Weaver currently works as a middle school teacher in Brampton for the Peel District School Board. This investigation remains ongoing, and investigators believe there may be additional victims. Anyone with information in relation to this, or any other similar incident is asked to contact investigators at the Special Victims Unit at 905-453-2121, extension 3460. Anonymous information may also be submitted by calling Peel Crime Stoppers. The second one is a 49-year-old teacher by day and a pastor by night or weekends, Bensley Rattray. I think that's how his last name is pronounced, Rattray, Rattray. He is a resident of Hamilton, Ontario, and was charged in February 2022 with two counts of sexual interference that occurred between November 2019 and October 2020. He was a technology teacher at Chinkuzi Secondary School in Brampton, Ontario. Police are appealing for more information and any other victims or witness to come forward. Well, news has learned that the teacher is a, was rather a tech teacher here at Chinkuzi Secondary School in Brampton. Earlier this month, multiple victims came forward with allegations of sexual assault and Peel Regional Police launched an investigation into the matter. 
What they know so far is that the assaults they believe happened between November of 2019 and October of 2020. So far, two victims have come forward. Police say there could be more. 49-year-old Bentley Rattray, pictured here and who is from Hamilton, is facing two counts each of sexual assault and sexual interference. A photo of Rattray is posted on the website of Really Living Center. It's a church in Hamilton who lists the man as a pastor. Now, Global News did reach out to the church for comment, but has not yet heard back. Police say that the investigation continues and that they would like to speak to anyone who may have information. We want any member of our community who believes they may have been a victim of a crime to speak to investigators so that we can, in fact, uh, investigate these incidents. And if appropriate and charges are warranted, we want to uh, lay those charges should, uh, should they be required. Global News also reached out to the Peel District uh, School Board and they provided no comment. They also would not say whether or not any supports were brought in to help any students grappling with this information that's coming to light today. Alan, the board said that they were not willing to comment on a quote human resources matter. However, it really does uh, leave us to wonder what types of services are being brought in for students. We had not opportunity to speak to a couple who didn't want to go on camera and they said that the news is extremely concerning. Now, a lot of these stories are from Brampton, Ontario, which I used to live in Brampton, Ontario, actually. And then, you know, I moved out of there. But this is another case, or the third case is from Ottawa, Ontario, the capital of Canada, which a lot of people think Toronto is the capital. I used to think that as well, even though I've lived in Canada for the majority of my life. But Ottawa is the capital of Ontario. So this teacher was 34 year old. She's a former middle school teacher. Kyla Cohen Wilson was charged in 2016 with sexual assault of one of her 12 year old student. She was accused of having sexual encounters with the student. 12 years old, as I said, and she's 34. In 2018, she pled guilty and received a very lenient sentence of 90 days in jail to only be served on weekends. She was placed on two years of probation and she had to register as a sex offender for life and submit a DNA sample to the National DNA Data Bank. This must be a terrible situation for you. Kyla, do you have anything to say? Mr. Goddard, are you able to make a comment about uh, no. the conditions? No comment today, thank you very much. There are no updates currently on what she's up to. On December 5th, 2022, so just a few weeks ago, 33-year-old Nathaniel Peters was arrested and charged with procuring a person under the age of 18. In July 2021, members of the Peel Regional Police Specialized Enhancement or Enforcement began an investigation after Nathaniel allegedly tried to recruit and recruit an underage victim to work in the sex trade. Police wouldn't reveal which schools he worked at, only revealing that he coached basketball school aged females, you know in high schools, but they wouldn't really say which high schools that he worked at, just that he worked in Peel Region High Schools for the past decade. And Peel Region consists of Caledon, Brampton, Mississauga, and I think there's one more city that ties up the Peel Region, but I'm not, I can't remember what it is, or I'm not quite sure, maybe it's just the three. But that's all the information that they would reveal about him. Investigators from the Peel Regional Police Specialized Enforcement Bureau, Vice Unit, have arrested and charged a Brampton, Ontario man in relation to prostitution. On July 9, detectives began investigating allegations that 33-year-old Nathaniel Peters attempted to recruit an underage victim to work in the sex trade for him. Nathaniel has coached high school-aged females in basketball across the region of Peel for the last 10 years. On December 5, Nathaniel Peters was arrested and charged with procuring a person under the age of 18 years old. Nathaniel was held for a bail hearing and appeared before the Ontario Court of Justice on Tuesday, December 6. 
Investigators from the Specialized Enforcement Bureau, Vice Unit, believe there may be more victims of prostitution offenses and or witnesses to this investigation and are urging anyone with information in relation to this investigation to contact them at 905-453-2121, extension 3555. Information may also be left anonymously by calling Peel Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477. The fourth one, I think we're on number four, is 30-year-old Greg Scarlett. He's a Brampton resident and was arrested and charged with four counts of sexual assault and four counts of sexual interference, one count of forcible confinement and luring a person under 16 years of age. At the time of his arrest, inv investigators revealed that he may be employed in the medical field and previously worked at a school in Peel Region, but didn't name the school. They believe there might be other victims. A Brampton man has been charged with sexually assaulting a child. Police say 30-year-old Greg Scarlett approached a 13-year-old in Chincuzi Park earlier this year and sexually assaulted the victim multiple times over the course of the summer. He's now charged with four counts of sexual assault, sexual interference, forcible confinement, and luring. Police say Scarlett may be employed in the medical field and may have also once worked at a school in Peel Region. Investigators think there may be more victims, and so they're asking anyone with information to contact them. So this is the fifth, I think we're at number five, and final one. Like I said, there are tons of other stories out there. And if you guys are interested, I will make other videos following up. There are a lot of teachers that are charged with sexual crimes and it gets pushed under the radar. And the licensing board that licenses or licensed teachers, the camera board is called now, Teachers School of College or something like that is called. A lot of these teachers are not penalized. Like they're not fired. They may be suspended during the crime case, I think without pay. Or it might be with pay, depending on their union contract. Don't quote me on this. I'm not 100% sure. And depending on how the case turns out, maybe the charges are dropped or maybe they plead guilty to a lesser charge kind of thing, they will just move them to a different school. They still have their license kind of thing. Which is kind of, it's crazy. Teachers spend more time than with us parents, unfortunately. Because kids are in school eight hours a day. Parents are at home, because some parents are at home parents, or they're at work. So teachers spend the brunt of the day with our children. And if they can't be trusted, then what do we do? We can't go into the classroom with our kids, right? But this fifth and final one just happened last month when police arrested and charged 30-year-old Tin Ji Wong, and he was charged with sexual assault and sexual exploitation. Investigators allege that between 2014 and 2016, while Ji was a teacher, or Wang, Wang, T, T, Tin Ji Wang is his name. I keep messing that up, sorry. While he was a teacher at Albert Campbell Collegiate Institute in the Macau Road and Finch Avenue East area in Scarborough, Ontario, during his time there, he's alleged to have a sexual relationship with a student who was a young person at the time. So they didn't identify whether this was a male or female. At the time of his arrest, he was a teacher at a different high school, Birchmount Park Collegiate Institute, which is located near Birchmount and Danforth Road in Scarborough. And he has court coming up next month. So I believe it's January 19th of 2023. The Toronto Police Service is advising the public of an arrest made in a historical sexual assault investigation. It is alleged that between 2014 and 2016, a person was employed as a teacher at Albert Campbell Collegiate Institute. During their employment at the school, they engaged in a sexual relationship with a student who was a young person at the time. On Monday, November 28, 2022, Tinji Wong, 38, of Toronto, was arrested and charged with sexual assault and sexual exploitation. He is scheduled to appear in court at 1911 Eglinton Avenue East on Thursday, January 19, 2023, at 2 p.m. Tinji Wong is currently employed as a teacher with the Toronto District School Board at Birchmount Park Collegiate Institute. Police are concerned there may be more victims. Anyone with information is asked to contact police at 416-808-4200 or Crime Stoppers anonymously at 416-222-8477.
And we will see what the outcome of these cases are. Like I said, a lot of them are, you know, they plead down, they plead to lesser charges or the charges are dropped altogether. But let me know what you think about these cases. Have you ever heard of them? If you're interested, I will do more videos because like I said, there are a ton more teachers, a ton more teachers. Like I know we, as Canadians, we hear a lot about when US teachers commit these kind of crimes. I remember that teacher back in the day, I can't remember her name right now, but she ended up having two kids with the young boy that she was molesting. I cannot remember her name right now. Okay, so while editing the video, I came across the name of the teacher I was referring to, Mary Kay Letourneau. Now, she was a married mother of four children at the time when she started this affair with, I wouldn't even say affair, abuse of this 12-year-old child, or 13, I think he was 13 when the, when the abuse started. She was ar charged, arrested and charged, sent to jail for seven years, they had one child while, I believe, while she was in there. Or I think both of the kids were born while she was in jail. Or she one was born before she went in to start her sentence. And one was born while she was in doing her sentence. She was released. They, you know, she came out, they got married. And they stayed together until 2019. And she passed away in 2020, which I wasn't even aware of. So some people might look at this as a love story, but it's twisted. Like I said, she was in her 30s at the time. She was married and already had four kids. And she started an affair with a, she started to abuse a 13 year old. Now, if you are the parents, if you are the parents of that young man, or say for instance, something like that happens to your child, whether it be a son or a daughter, would you accept this? Would this be acceptable to you? Even after the child then becomes an adult, but they're still with their abuser, would you at some point accept it? This is crazy. And a lot of people think, oh, these things don't happen in Canada. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. I found a lot of them from Calgary, Manitoba, British Columbia, but I was focusing more on Ontario cases because that's where I work. I mean, well, I work, <laughs> but where I live, <laughs> where I live. So depending on how well this video does, I might do more videos, you know, covering, you know, teachers that commit sexual acts against their students. And I'm trying to be great for 2023. So help a girl out. Help me grow my channel. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so. Like this video, share it, and leave a comment. My friends, some of my friends watch my videos because they come back and discuss it with me afterwards but leave a comment, leave a comment because that helps the channel to grow, okay? It helps to push the video out more. So don't come discuss it with me personally. Do not call me and discuss it with me. Let's discuss in the comments and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.